This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hi everyone. So in this session, we are going to see some information about a T-code. Like, uh, especially what is authorization check in a T-code and then a lot more details about a T-code. Okay, so we all know in SAP, we interact with SAP in the form of a T code to perform any action like creating user or creating sales order or approving some requests. Anything it is the initial step is like through a T code, a transaction code. So the T code, you can see first of all how many T codes are there in the system the table is ts tc here tc stands for table or you can also use ts tc t t stands for text okay so let us go to this table first and see how many t codes are there in the system so to execute a table, I need to go to SE16, put the table name. Yes, this is the screen. Remove the limit of 200 here and then click on number of entries just to see the number of entries. How many entries I have? 149,000. So 149,186. So 149,186 transactions are available. So, and if you want to see the list actual list click on execute and you can see the list of the transaction codes so this is the table for transaction codes suppose i want to search security related transaction codes su which starts with su you can just give su star and then click on execute so you get the complete list of t codes starting with su and you have even the transaction text also it is coming in the last section column of it right similarly we have another table which is uh, basically for text purpose tstct and then let us again try to execute you can choose the language here let me type it as english en then transaction code i put it as su star okay and then i remove the limit here now click on execute so you get only the language and then t code and the text so this you can see first of all whether a t code exists in the system or not you can check in this table tstc or tstct okay or if you want to see total list of t codes also you can refer into these tables so that is the tables part now coming to i want to check a single transaction whether it is created or what is the logic behind it everything so the t code is se 93 so let us go to se 93 now okay i have some transaction like sm30 i put sm30 i click on this it gives me the details of this transaction so sc93 is the t code where actually the developers will create the transaction code. here you have all the like program what is the underlying program means when this t code is being executed this program will be executed in the background so if there is an authorization object they will be maintaining here or we also can see by going into this program level and then checking the is there any authorization objects check for this transaction sm30 okay so this is the se 93 transaction where i can display t codes change t codes and create the t codes this is done by developers we can just come and see the display details here for the information especially like program sake 
so this is the program name related to sm30 transaction i am taking the program and then i go to sc38 to check the display of it this is the program behind that particular sm30 now in this program there might be authority checks authority checks in the sense when this transaction is being executed any transaction a authority check will happen in the in the program level so if there are any authority checks in the program we can check it here so click on find and then you can type it here as authority check authority hyphen check and then continue no we don't have here let me search it again authority let us take some other transaction SC38 Okay, I have done a spelling mistake authority hmm. Yeah, we have the strings available so call transaction sm34 or call transaction sm30 with authority check you can see these are the two transactions and what are the authority checks are happening here is with the object s underscore taboo underscore dis so there is a check happening s underscore Tabu underscore this this is one of one particular object under that what are the fields you can see act vt and then dic brcls which is authorization group and also authority check is happening on other object also s underscore tabu underscore cli client independent and the last yes only two tabu underscore cli and tabu underscore this so basically we have two objects being checked when this sm30 transaction is being executed so the user who is executing sm30 should definitely have these objects in the role level okay so what we sap has done because the these objects are already being checked in the t code level sm30 t code level they have they must they should have introduced this in su22 which is a relation between t codes and authorization objects for sm30 i am looking into sm su22 information which is like a relationship between t codes and authorization objects i am filtering by sorting by descending order proposal these are the objects that are being linked with this t code sm30 so what sap is proposing here when you whenever this transaction code is uh, is used ensure that these objects also should be there in your role and based on that these objects will get added into the role whenever you add the transaction in the role creation so what do we do generally when i go and create a role in sm30 and add the t code sm30 these four objects will be automatically pulled into my role because they are already checking in the program level two of them are already being checked without those the user will face a problem so this is su22 transaction now let us go into su24 su24 also will look similar to that there will be no change unless and until you have done some changes or customization in it
so this is su24 transaction filter the proposal by ascending order so again the same values now let us test it when i create a role with test underscore sm30 and i'm inserting the t code sm30 here now if you look into the authorizations these authorizations will be pulled from su24 so you can see the objects s underscore t code is by default for every transaction it is being added and then the other four objects are exactly coming from su24 and that is also decided based on the t code what authority checks are there in the t code level if there are no author authority checks so we you, you may not find some of these objects in the su22 and su24 so this is how the relation between the authorization objects for which t code which objects will be checked in the sap system the same rule will also apply for the custom transactions also so when a custom transaction is being built by a developer so we can insert some authority authority check inside for a particular standard authorization objects if it is suitable to you or else we have to create a custom authorization object and then insert that check for the custom transaction so depending on your client requirement how it goes that has to be done okay right so in this way will be doing or you can troubleshoot the data so these are the important information so su24 and su22 gives you what relation the t codes and its related authorization objects this is also same but if you have done some customization we do the customization in su24 let us say i'll include this customization cust so this is the table related to the transaction codes this is the t code related to t code transaction code and these are the author uh, authorization objects checks related what all objects are are linked with that particular t code okay so you can check for other t codes also similarly you will get more clarity on it okay right thanks everyone see you all in another session some other session